Hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope it's not dark in here i like the cozy vibes of like the lamp i don't want to put on these lights i mean i could probably is better but it's not setting the vibe i do not have earrings on hold up we are going to do depop packages i have all my clothes here ready i am going to try on for the first time the cowgirl boots that i thrifted I didn't even realize that they were Steve Madden. I had them in my cart for a while. And then when I finally looked like inside, I was like, wait, they're Steve Maddens. I am a size eight and a half for shoes. They are nine and a halves. So probably gonna be too big for me. I know shoes on the rug is a big no-no right now, but I just want to see. I think they fit. What do you think? They actually, they're not like that loose. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I can't really tell how they look on because I'm blind. I can't even see myself. I have never owned a pair of cowboy boots, so this is different, but I'm actually pretty loving them. And if y'all haven't noticed, um, why is my desk in the living room? I feel like when it's in my office, I don't work as much as I should. I always end up just using my laptop and like having it here either in my bedroom or here in the living room. I don't like being in my office all the time. I feel not home. I don't know. Okay. I feel like it just looks more cozy here. Actually gives the space a little, a little spice. I love being here at night just like editing or doing Depop stuff and having the TV on. I can just watch TV, watch a movie. Yeah, and also please ignore my flowers. They are indeed dead. Um, hopefully today I do have to go to the grocery store, so I'm gonna get some new flowers for the week. Ow! Did I just cut myself? We are opening this package up from Amazon. I ordered more potty millers because I was all out. So let's see what I chose. I got these plain baby pink ones. I think they're super cute. I had the cheetah print one before, but I think they're all like all out. So I got these instead. Um, these are good for bundles. Did I already say that? Yeah, I did. Then we have these lip ones. I had already ordered these ones before. I like them, so I got them again. And yeah, so I'm gonna take them out, get them ready, set up here. 
My cat is gonna love this box, so gift for her. Now we're gonna do what sold and for how much. I know it has been a while since I have added this in my video, so it's time to do it again. The first item are these crochet shorts. I sold for $28. This Abercrombie & Fitch off-the-shoulder sweater from last week's video, we sold for $35.70. This 90s black maxi skirt, I sold for $32. This stunning, perfect for the fall coach purse, I sold for $210. This wet seal mini dress, I sold for $35. Vintage bomber jacket, I sold for $75. Everyone loved this. This green off the shoulder long sleeve, I sold for $30. This gorgeous maxi skirt, I sold for $35. Then we have a bundle. We have this 90s mini skirt and this brown leather jacket. I sold for a total of $90. This vintage office siren top, I sold for $30. Then we sold this old item. I think this has been on my shop for like two years. <laughs> I finally sold it for $6. I got my money back, it's okay. This black halter top, I sold for $25. And lastly, we have this vintage maxi skirt that I sold for $35. So that is everything. Let's get to it. It's probably not the smartest thing to wear boots to thrift. I feel like my feet are gonna hurt. Why are they already hurting? Um, I'm just being the only lighter I have. Um, let's pretend that it's on. Ooh, cozy. We are continuing the week at Texas Thrift. Starting off in the skirts, I found this really cute floral maxi skirt. It has lettuce hem on the bottom and these colors are giving me fall, so we are taking this. I am in love with this skirt. I think this is one of the prettiest skirts I've ever thrifted. I am loving the lace trim and this is just giving like cottagecore vibes. This is going into my cart. Rewatching this clip, I have extreme regrets for not getting this sweater. It looks so soft. I think I flopped not getting this. I have been on the search for a cute, like, long cardigan. I'll put in a picture of, like, the vibe I'm trying to go for. This one was giving me a similar vibe, except that this one could tie around the waist. I found this early 2000s floral mini dress. Cute, but I don't know. I wasn't crazy about it right now, so I am passing. Then we have this cotton linen mini dress. This one is so cute. I can already imagine this with the cowgirl boots I just thrifted. I am definitely taking this. This knitted cardigan long sleeve caught my eye, but honestly, eh. And it's giving pumpkin spice, but I'm gonna pass. And these are the skirts I found that y'all already saw. I'm definitely gonna take these. And as I was walking towards the line, I found this sweater. I am obsessed. I know it's a little out there. The colors is a little extreme, but I think it's really cute. Now we're at Family Thrift. I found this early 2000s coat. It caught my eye, but honestly, the fabric and the material was really cheap. I believe it's just like polyester and eh, it just looked cheap, so I'm passing. 
This red leather jacket though was 100% genuine leather. It had no flaws, but honestly, it was really expensive and I did not want to pay that much for a jacket, so I passed. Now, this is a jacket that for sure would be on my Pinterest board. And it had this really unique like patchwork stitching look to it, which I thought was really cool. I am 100% taking this. In the lingerie section, I did find this cami mini slip dress that was on the cheapy material side, so I'm passing. In the skirts, I found this 100% silk midi skirt. Then we have this American Eagle pinstripe mini skirt. I ended up not taking this at the end and taking this pink early 2000s mini skirt instead. It is by Vintage Heart Soul. Now moving on to the sweater cardigan aisle, I found this maxi cardigan. It has ruffles and a tie on the front. This sweater was giving me like that so Raven. I feel like Raven would wear this. It might be a little out there, but I kind of like it. I don't know. I think it's really cute. This is that cardigan. I wanted to see how it would look on and I've been seeing them on my Depop a lot. So I'm going to try and see how this vibe works on my Depop and I'm going to take it. I also found this gray one, but I ended up just taking the pink one instead for now. Then we have this Aeropostale cable knit long sleeve and this bodycon off the shoulder long sleeve. I was loving the color wave on this sweater. It is off the shoulder. I was hoping it would look cute as like a dress. This cardigan looked so cute on the hanger, um, but I did try it on because I wasn't sure how it would look and I wasn't loving the way it fit and it was missing a button, so we are passing. My cart is looking really, really cute. I am going to go film a reel. As I was walking towards my normal area, I film. I found this vest that um, I ended up passing on. Did I flop on that? I'm not sure. This is what I really ended up taking and this I am passing and I'm also passing on that red jacket. Hey guys, we are gonna take Depop pics. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup and my hair. I did get a question on my comments that I wanna help you guys out with because I feel like this could help everyone that does Depop. Might get hate for saying this or just people being like, what the heck? You guys are my best friends. So if y'all in person were to ask me this question, this is truly what I would say. Have I even told you the question? No, I have not. Let me go back. Can you please do a video how you increase your sales or like how you take your photos to attract buyers? First thing that is the most important thing I would say is you need to have a social media platform for your shop. So for me, for example, it's just my name. It's not really like a shop name, but it could be too. Um, I just use my name and I post on Reels. I post on TikTok. Right now, honestly, what helps me the most is Reels. I feel like Reels do so much better than TikTok does nowadays. I could be wrong. I feel like TikTok is a hit or miss nowadays. It's not as easy to get a lot of views. But reels for sure, I highly recommend that you post reels of you in the thrift store just showing your finds really quick. You actually in the thrift store talking about your finds, make that a reel. You at home, there's so many ways that you can like market your clothes on your shop um, on social media. You can do it at home, a little thrift haul. I used to do that, I remember in the very beginning. Just be creative with it. If not, like the simplest thing, if you're not a creative person, I would say literally go to the thrift store and when you have all your items, put them on a rack and just take clips, real quick, like five second clips of each item and post it with music on top and that works. Then it's a big one that a lot of people don't do and I feel like y'all are, are really missing out. I know maybe at first, maybe you're scared because of what people are gonna say about you or like, I don't know, because maybe your friends are going to see your videos. Who cares? Because at the end of the day, you're the one getting that bag. So just do it. For Instagram, for example, you need to be posting consistently for um, Instagram Reels to like always boost your videos. And this is a fact because in my old Instagram account, which is not the account I have now, 
um, I had gone and hacked in that account. I've talked about this before, um, but I had my original account, I had like over 10K on it and I grew it so fast by posting a video every single time I went to the thrift store. And at that time when I was first starting Depop, that was pretty much like every day. So I would post a reel every single day. And of course, like in the beginning, you'd probably get like, I don't know, like a thousand views, 500 views maybe. I feel like in less than a month, my views went to the Ks. Went, I remember I had a bunch of like million view hits. So if you are showing Instagram that you are posting consistently, then they will help you and you're always gonna get good views. So when I made my new Instagram account, which is the account I have now, I grew it from doing the same thing that I know it works. You just post pretty much every day or every other day. And now I can pretty much take breaks. I feel like I do not post every day anymore. And my videos will sit there for a week and within a week, they already have over 100K, 500K, yeah. So it really works. It really is so easy. So you guys should try it if you guys haven't already. Just post reels, do them. Um, and of course, most important thing is make sure that your Depop link is in your bio. And anyone that sees your video, they'll go to your page, they'll go onto your shop, and they'll buy the item that caught their eye. Or, yeah, it works, okay? This next thing I'm honestly scared to even say because I know maybe I'm gonna get hate for it, but like I said, if you were to come up to me in person, I would tell you this, even though it might look bad, okay? I'm gonna tell you how in the beginning of me ever starting Depop, of course, like I said, I would do the reels and everything. But another thing that helps my shop with my sales, it's really hard to get exposure on the Depop app itself. Um, so I found my way to get that exposure and it helped my shop tremendously, okay? Tremendously, is that even a word? I hope I'm saying that right, if it is a word. First thing is you need to understand the vibe of your shop. What are you going for? Your niche, pretty much. And you need to know what buyers you're trying to attract, okay? At the time when I first started Depop, I'll put in pictures of the vibe. It was very Y2K, kind of colorful. If I found a very similar item that I am selling, and it has like a lot of likes, I would go through the likes and follow all those people because I know that those people like that item and I have it also in my shop. So more than likely when they see it on my shop, they're gonna buy it, especially if it was for like a lesser price. Nowadays, Depop, I guess maybe they realized that people were doing this because it's so easy. You cannot see who likes an item anymore, which kind of sucks. But the only thing now that you can do is if you find a Depop seller that's similar to your vibe, um, and your audience that you're looking for, just go through the followers and follow. <laughs> I'm gonna get so much hate, guys, but it works. It works. There'd be days where like, okay, all morning, I'm just gonna be following people. So I would just follow a bunch of people and the cha-chings, the cha-chings, the cha-chings, I would hear within a short amount of time was insane. So whenever my shop was doing really slow, that's what I would do. I'd be like, okay, I need to follow people because I need more exposure on my shop. Some people might say, you're cheating, that's cheating. What is cheating? How is that cheating? I don't see how that's cheating. Anyone can do this. Um, at the end of the day, you're the one making the sales. And like I said, it's not like you're hurting anyone. No one's getting hurt. If no one's getting hurt, no one's dying, then it's not, an, it's not, it's not bad. I don't think. I don't see it bad. <laughs> I might get so much hate for this. I don't know. It got me to where I am now. And the last tip that might be honestly the foundation of the other two tips, because if you don't have this, you might not be successful. And that is you need to take good pictures. You need to have good lighting. You either need to have a vibe, like I said, sometimes like just being on the white wall, it works for some people and they make it look so good. But 
if you're gonna be behind like a blank canvas or like just a white wall you need to make sure that you're giving a vibe to the photos because if it's too bland and boring uh, it's not gonna attract people it's not gonna attract buyers so you need to make sure that you're styling like a full outfit like with boots with the purse with the makeup with the hair or just a white sheet that is what i did in the beginning i did the white sheet thing and i made sure that i was giving it a vibe like i'm saying vibe a lot i know i'm sorry i like to go more the simple route now i just feel like it's a lot more easier and less time consuming i use the same black mini skirt the same boots the same white or black top and those are like my staples those are what i'm always taking pictures with and if you're gonna go this route i recommend having a cute background or a cute vibe um, if you have posters in your room if you have a clothing rack um, flowers a little side table this is probably like the easiest thing you could do and there's the other side where you don't feel like you want to model your clothes you're not the model type which i get it some people aren't and there are depop sellers that are very successful not modeling their clothes the first way is getting a mannequin this is chef's kiss right here so if you're gonna do a mannequin vibe you need to also make sure you're styling it the other way is the classic white sheet on your bed um either or that floral bed print you just have to make it cute okay lighting is so important you could do artificial light i have bought in um big studio lights that i never use <laughs> uh i don't know it just gives a very harsh not cutesy vibe i feel like personally i honestly really prefer daylight i just think it makes the picture look really light and real so those are four ways that you can take your pictures um, or make your pictures better. I honestly feel like this will help you guys. This will get it done. This will set you to the next level if you feel like you haven't gotten there yet. So a little summary. Market on your social media. Be consistent. Follow people on Depop because that is pretty much the only way you can really find exposure on the app. Other than, of course, if you're listing an item and someone is searching it, but that is, the exposure is not that much compared to if you were to just follow people and make sure you're taking good pictures on the wall with a full outfit or simple with a cute background on your bed with good lighting. Yes. Okay. You guys are set. Let's start the Depop picks. I have to do my hair, but it's not going to take that long.